Hi, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use rulers, indents, and tabs in Word. So I've just got up a default document here with a little bit of random text, which I'm just going to zoom in. And the first thing we need to do is obviously place our rulers into our document. So all you need to do is go to the View tab up here and along the ribbon to Ruler and just click the box. Once you do this, you can see that your rulers appear at the top of your page and down the side. Now, one of the important things to note about your ruler is that the white section defines where your text will be within your document. The grey areas are your margins. Now, the easiest way to change your margins is to simply hover your mouse between the grey and white sections of your ruler until it changes to a double headed arrow. Then just click and then you can drag to the right to decrease your margins and to the left to increase. Again you can do that with the opposite side and again on the left hand side with the left ruler to increase or decrease your margins at the top and bottom of your page and doing this will affect your entire document. So the next thing to do is just to demonstrate how these triangles and this rectangle works. So the top one here is first line indent. This will refer to the first line in all of your different paragraphs. Any effect you make here will only be for those paragraphs that you have selected. So if I only put my cursor in this paragraph here, when I move these triangles, it will only affect this paragraph. If I want to affect two or three paragraphs, then I just have to highlight them by clicking and dragging. Then go up to the top triangle, hover over it, click it and just drag it. And as you can see for those three paragraphs, my indent has moved just the top line of text in each paragraph. Let's just move that back. If we want, want to move the whole of the text left or right, we can just click the rectangle at the bottom, click and drag. And as you can see, it will move the indent of the whole paragraph. And it will also move both triangles. The other one, which people often don't use, is this hanging indent here. So if we just click on that, and just move that along, you can see that your top line of text stays where it is and the remaining text of your paragraphs then moves along with your triangle. Now, for much of your text, you won't actually need to use this, but it's really useful if you're using bullet points. So if we go to the Home tab and we go to Bullet Points, let's just type in Numbers, let, oh, letters, symbols. Now where this is very useful is if I put my cursor over all of these and highlight them and then you can see that the top triangle refers to where my dots are and the second triangle here refers to where my bullet text starts. If I want to increase the gap between my bullet points and my text, I just grab this triangle and drag it over. You can see that I can increase or decrease the space between my bullet points. If I want to then move the whole of this bullet point, if I grab the rectangle below and drag to the left or right, then you can see I can move all of my bullet points. Equally, the triangle over here on the right will do exactly the same as the rectangle on the bottom down here. If I highlight my paragraph or if I just click in this top paragraph and I grab this triangle here and I move it to the left, you can see how that will change my paragraph. The next thing is just to quickly show you how to customise your indents. So if I just move my cursor down and then if I just press my indent key, it will automatically move along an inch. And again, if I move it again, it will move another inch. 
Now, if I want to change the spacing of these indents, all I need to do is to go along to this icon here and ensure that I have got the correct indent selected. Now, by default, it's this arrow here, which means the text will be indented to the right. All I need to then do is go along to my ruler and just click where I want my first indent to be. If you hit your Alt key whilst you're dragging it, it will show you the exact measurements. And this can also happen for your triangles and rectangle as well. So just place your indent anywhere you wish. And then again, you can space out these indents to exactly where you want them. And then if we press the indent key, write some text, and then we press the indent key again, you can see that it goes to my next indent point. And again, finally, to the end one. And you can see how these indents have spaced out my text. Now, if you want to change them, you can just simply click on them and then just move them. And the text will move in accordance with your choices. If you want to get rid of these, then just click on them and pull them off the ruler and they will simply vanish. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please subscribe and have a great day.